Well, it's a time again. I just want to say happy Good Friday, Holy Saturday, Easter Sunday, and Easter Monday. Um, depending on what time you're seeing this and what time this is actually going to be seen on YouTube. Last week I had a little trouble of uploading the first review. 20 more, 24 blogging hours it take to upload a freaking 15 minute video. But this time I'll try to reduce it to like, let's say close to 10 minutes if it goes a little above. Okay, that's okay. Anyways, um, last week I just want to mention the stuff that I got. The toy, fake transformers from a place named Sam Kwan. And the candy is from, um, from a place named Publix. P-U-B-L-I-C-S, not the other kind of Publix in North America. And the other toy is actually from my work, but they are solo currently because that I got that during the Christmas holiday. Anyway, let's move on. Since this is going to be Easter, I just want to highlight some Easter stuff. But I'll be doing it very quick. Because I don't really want to stick on this phone for very long. And I got my little assistant here. Let him be a reference of size for the time being. Because first we'll be bringing on is these. Ba -ba -da -bam. Holiday home. Can tree candy container. Surprisingly, it's from the same place, Simon Kwan, for one ninety-five. And if you can see, compared to him, he has the same, almost the same exact size. And these are the what package described. They can hold candy. And over on to the next one, we have the from the lovely company Best Nueva Imagen. Imagen. All right, that we got. But it's botonetas, chocolate flavor. These are just like Mexican equivalent to um, M and M's or Smarties if you're from Canada. Then we move along to these Perlia, which is from the Dania company. Those co people that live in Central America, Mexico, and parts of the Caribbean and South America would know about these can this kind of company. You might find them in specialty stores in America, along with their chips as well. Very nice. And these are, yes, jelly beans. Mmm. Pineapple. There are different flavors such as lime and orange, which is my favorite. Then we have the juju. Come this to everywhere else. Nice sugary texture. Slightly spongy. Mmm. Red. And then we have the chocolate bunnies. I forget what brand these are, but I got them at a store named Celebration, which is kind of along next side to Sam Kwan. They're like um they're like a part store. Not really big like part part of city in North America, but they do the job in Belize. Mm, I can't then put them in the fridge. I bum. Mm. Oh well. We bring in the next stuff. Mm. Decorative eggs. Yes, you won't believe them. They are actually a dollar from my work. Oh, by the way, I didn't really get a chance to mention this, but I currently work at a place named Dollar Store. Or, sorry, not Dollar Store. Dollar Store. D A L L A Store. It's just like the Belizean equivalent to the dollar store, except that we must have some brick a brac and other junk. Well, not necessarily all junk. Some of the stuff they do get come maybe come from a different store that don't really have much inventory or are unable to sell up their stuff, and then we do get from international providers. See how the eggs look. Ready. I'll put you here. Er, here. Um, let's see now. Oh, yeah, this. Behold. Sorry, guys. Behold. Space bubble. Yala, papa. Even I'm wondering. What we basically have here is a bubble gun with a bubble little thing. 
unlike other bubble toys that might see in North America, these kind are the ones that you actually have to put the bubbles into the little dish and dab it here and you press the one which blows off a little breeze and shoot off. I remember I actually had something like this when I was a kid. Kind of remind me of something like a larger step of one. And again, it's from our friend Kusama Kwan, 395, only close to two hours. And then we have all um, the guffs um, instructions, and we even have the manufacturer here. Mm, or not really, it's hard to see. Oh, yeah. If you can see the manufacturers or the distributors, there they are. We have the ever present warning written in Arabic, Spanish, or not, not Spanish. Something you might see in Russian and everything else. And then, the hell, we don't even have the freaking. I don't even know where these are manufactured, which one I have. That's stupid. Well, it comes with the worm. Feed it to Pac-Man, he'll choke on crime. Will cause a problem. And will cause a growth of a little face on your face. Then we have the all-inclusive standards. We have the fake. Certified by the European Union logo, or two of the famous recycles, recycle stuff, and we also have the ever present not to tree sad onion. But hang on, it says three and four and up, but yet it has not to tree sad onions. Best gift for a child. Apparently, three year olds are not allowed to play with this. Oh well, anyway, let's see what we can have here again. Let's see, focus on my little friend there. Alright, perfect. One last thing before we actually end off today, since, it's, since I'm going to take a holiday this week, I just want to introduce this. Hang on. Alright, so cool. This is... If you actually remember this as a kid, especially coming from a poor family, you'll notice this little car here with the controllers. This actually comes from the place that I mentioned last week, the tweets came from, Publix. That's P-U-B-L-I-C-S, Publix. It's kind of like a local store, and they actually sold this during Christmas time. And I checked back in, and they don't seem to have this. Let's check the packaging. We have the ever present swar warning signs written in English and Arabic. Test, if you see this, is actually said tested according to international standard. Ooh. At least this time we know what we're getting. Is the lucky number 7772A? Mm, my favorite. And then we have the ever present it recycle logo. Certified by European Union, the ever present very gloomy this time, not to trace that onion and the recycle logo. Made in China, so we know what we're getting into. Let's check the back. Nothing except for the barcode. Yep, yes, I ever born barcode. Before we actually, well, before we actually start filming, we actually did put this. I actually did put batteries in it, so let's take it out. Let's try it. Plopsy. <laughs> oh my god. This is so terrible. The freaking wheel actually came off as it take it out of the bag. No. But anyways, let's see how it rides. Oh. If it didn't have the wheels. My god, this is so horrible. Hey, come on. Let's see if it runs on a smooth surface. Yes, it did it. On a very limited surface. Batteries fits, but it seems that freaking batteries fit. It works with double A batteries, but it seems like this son of a bitch wants to escape. Ugh. Ugh. Why do I even bother? Well, 
that's your lot for you for this week um next time hopefully i'll be doing another one um hopefully this time this will be uploaded probably the same day and uh, again i just want to say happy easter to everyone that's uh, is out there and i just want to bring in my little friend poof as a reference size mm, it'd be a great car for you my little friend but unfortunately doors doesn't open and this is a shit car sorry poof.